Hello, 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 and welcome to RimWorld Troopers. The current goals we have are to protect the mission officer, which in this case is Carl, destroy as many hives as possible, eliminate any hostile human threats to the Federation, and to study the bugs if given the opportunity and possibly recreate our own. Starting times for RimWorld Troopers is Saturdays. Uh, it's 2.30 Pacific Time, 5.30 Eastern Time, and 10.30 p.m. UK Time. And this would be Sunday morning at 7.30 in Australia. Thank you very much for checking it out. Hopefully we can see you at Twitch so you can be a part of the Storyteller using the Toolkit Mods. All right, guys. So welcome, welcome, welcome. Let's first go over our um, individuals. So we have Carl, who is... Cheers. Thanks, Queerzilla. Thank you, thank you. So, toolkit hype indeed, my man. So we have Carl, who is uh, hypersensitive, abrasive, too smart, uh, intellectual, social skills are good, also fairly good with animals. Has a passion for animals, social, and a burning passion for intellectual work. Um, he doesn't have a whole lot else. There's a little bit of uh, shooting from, from uh, training. Uh, a little bit of crafting, again, from training. But nothing nothing um, extraordinary. He is also the officer um, for this playthrough. So one of our mission goals is to make sure the officer doesn't die. This next person we have is Snowflake, 42 years old. He is a combat vet. Uh, he has a burning passion in shooting and melee. Uh, also has a passion in construction, cooking, medical, intellectual. He's depressive, iron-willed, and abrasive. Snowflake has a very interesting background. Um, he also has no feet, and uh, one of his hands are missing. I'll replace with wooden parts. Who uh, will work? We'll work on building a uh, better social, uh, better soldier out of snowflake then we have purple who has a passion and burning passion in cooking and medical uh passion for shooting artistic social intellectual uh creepy breather hard worker and also has bloodlust so purple is one of those over overall well-rounded characters that we'll be needing in this series we have ronin who is actually um his background his passions his traits and everything we're, we're um devised by Rodiment, so this is going to be a very interesting character. Uh, incapable of, care, of caring and artistic. Uh, it's a quick sleeper, has bloodlust and a jogger, burning passion in shooting, minor passions in melee, plants and animals, and overall a, a well-rounded character. And then finally, we have Rusty. She's been through a lot. She can't clean, she can't do plant work. Um, hard worker, slow poke, and ascetic. She has a burning passion in shooting, crafting, minor passions in construction and mining. So we do have, uh, this is going to be our character layout, our map. If we take a look at the world here, you'll notice that it's, uh, it's a bit different uh, as it's infested with bugs. Because this is a bug planet. We have been sent down from the Federation. Uh, we have a couple outposts. In our vicinity, uh, we have a couple that are relatively close to us, and then a lot of bugs. We also have some hostile uh, enemies, um, humanoids that have uh, taken hold on this planet, as well as some pirates that are around us. Uh, so if we take a look at the, f the factions here, you can see that we have a lot of hives. A lot of hives. Um, we have a couple rough tribes or um, colonies, uh, our Federation friends, and then our lots and lots of hives. So we will be running into them quite often. The storyteller for our playthrough uh, is Randy Random. We're going to put on Strive to Survive. Depending on how the storyteller goes, we may change it to uh, the Empress Evil. Just depending. But right now we're going to keep it on Randy Random Strive to Survive. So that is the basic rundown of our characters, our location, and what we're doing. We also have a husky named Hank. So that's nice. That's nice. So the first thing we're going to do is, is unpause the game, let it run on slow. 
and uh, we will go ahead and um, allow everything and we do have some revolvers and some bolt action rifles so we'll go ahead and give everybody gotta have that puppo gotta have that puppo for sure man uh, actually in probably 15 or 20 minutes after people hopefully start coming on in, I will be raffling off Puppo. And then Purple, who has, Carl will actually take this and Purple will take the revolver. So Carl I don't see is going to do a lot of, uh, a lot of working here. Let's just go ahead and get our, um, stuff handled will be a priority third in line and you'll be able to do it but reluctantly all right so carl is going to be wardening handling uh we will put quite a few people on construction to begin with but eventually we will take that off carl's not going to hunt purple will be our primary chef and Snowflake will be our uh, secondary chef. Purple will be a secondary warden. And Ronan has five with a passion, so we'll, we'll put them on there as well to help out. Carl's gonna be our lead researcher. Uh, cleaning and hauling, crafting. We'll put everybody to have some crafting in here. Primary skill use. Ronan has six in crafting, that's pretty good. Mining, we are gonna make a, we are gonna make a um, mountain base as our area is covered with mountains. So we will need more people to mine than normal. Well, not than normal, we'll just, we'll just need more people to mine. And you have a passion in mining, so we'll let that roll. Growing. Uh, six and growing with a passion or four. All right. And everything else seems to be on the up and up. So as I was doing that, I was kind of looking at the area, the layout. I like that this is, oh, we can't walk through that. Eh. I like this area over here. So we might build a wall up through here because this should all be, wow, I thought that was a uh, very fertile ground. It doesn't look to be very fertile. So this is our only rich soil over here, right in the middle of our steam geyser. So we will go ahead and start building a base um, in this area over here, throw down some crops and we'll get to it. So let's go ahead and get some structures. We'll just do some basic wooden walls to begin with. Uh, we do want uh, a place to store the stuff that was dropped down from the Federation. So we'll go ahead and allow that now. We'll actually put a couple doors on there. And this will be our stockpile zone for everything temporarily. One thing I've learned with the um, insect race that's in this this mod uh, is they are they are very fierce they will they'll mess you up pretty quickly so we're gonna do what we can to try to get uh, get this stuff worked out here and we're gonna build a small uh, area for our research and stuff like that. We do have purple deconstructing this and it looks like this is almost completely built. We'll have a cut order on everything in there. Snowflake reached level three construction. Good job, Snowflake. And if you would like to be a member of the colony, go ahead and do so by just letting me know. 
if we do backslash or exclamation point about there uh, that'll tell you a little bit of information about this uh, playthrough as well as the um, price lists and everything like that so Hank let's go ahead and get you set up over here we're gonna have you get ready to haul so we're gonna work that out as soon as possible we do have uh, this all this stuff getting ready to be hauled so that's good looks like Carl's working on that now and it looks like everybody is doing their job we're cutting cutting what needs to be cut here so Ronan was working on that snowflake still constructing purple it's meditating. Good on you, Purple. Speaking of meditating, let's go ahead and put down some stuff for recreation. We'll put down a horseshoe pin. Just kind of right there. So in between these two areas. This is just a temporary holding zone. Um, let's... Uh, oh. This is... That's going to be... Not great. Should have checked that prior to building. Um, uh, if you click the link, uh, Calm, if you click that link right up there in the about, it's the purchase list. Um, but let's see. Can we build beds and stuff on this area? I don't know. Okay, we can. Yeah, the area looked fantastic with that real estate deal, man. Got to be careful with that stuff. So, uh, it's too good to be true. So, we're going to have to relocate. Yeah, no problem, man. And welcome, Slayer. Welcome. Glad to see you here. So, let's see. We are going to dig into the base, but we can make this a barracks for now. And let's go ahead and turn on rebuilding and turning off auto home. Where's auto home at? Speed research to drain the swamp. I mean, we are part of the Federation. We can do this. All right, auto home, gonna turn that off and let's start zoning this out. So I do want this to all be part of the home area. Since we are going to eventually dig into this, um, so we do have, looks like everybody's eating without a table. So you know it's gonna be, everyone's gonna be so thrilled. Uh, but speaking of that, let's, uh, let's get this all squared up let's see two for colonists that got sick with gut worms already this is perfect let's go ahead and uh prioritize on getting these beds built shall we nothing says new planet and randy random like gut worms all right so it's gonna be medical it's normal quality now let's speed up a little bit so we can get this stuff built. Uh, and then we do have Purple's the primary doctor, so let's make sure that Purple can tend to themselves. Uh, welcome to New World, right? It's like, geez, that's, that's a great way to begin. All right, that's a good bed, so I'll probably use this for medical instead of this one. And hopefully we can get another good bed in here somewhere. <laughs> I hope you're ready. All right, uh, Snowflake has gut worms. Man, it's Snowflake and Carl. Carl is our officer and Snowflake is the second command. Yikes, man, yikes. All right. 
let's uh, let's get this built in here and we'll make a temporary area just for uh... all right I do have um, alpha animals and I'll be honest I know what the mod is but I've never played with it before so well I've played with it here and there so a lot of the animals I don't know <laughs> what they are it's really gonna feel it's really gonna feel like a new and unique place which is what I wanted to uh, to happen Um, I'll turn these off so that way no one sleeps on the floor because it looks like that's happening already. Snowflake, you're going crazy, man. Go get some rest. So I was going to use this as the kitchen, but uh, obviously that's not going to work real well uh, since we can't build anything in here. Uh, besides small things like beds and stuff like that. Hmm. I might rework some of this. So that way this can reach all of them. Hank, I'm sorry I forgot to make you a sleeping spot. You can sleep inside, Hank. Because we're all friends here. Okay, so we do have package survival meal. We also have some steel. So we need to get that going. We have a spaceship chunk that landed inside the mountain. Good on that one. I'm not really sure how that happened, but uh, impressive nonetheless. Oh, I do. Uh, I don't have a command for mods quite yet. Uh, I will get that going by next week. That poor bed. Let's. All right, so we have everybody hauling stuff, which is good. That's what we need. Um, and then let's start start mapping out how we're gonna run this. Uh, one thing I've learned is that having a mountain base is uh, can't really mess it up. Because if you mess it up, there's no going back on some of this stuff. Hey, thanks for the beer. Alcohol kills worms, right? <laughs> it's got to work. Yeah, that... Uh, <laughs> speaking of that, let's go ahead and uh, assign our... Let's assign our uh, drug settings here. Nice. All right, good. Everything is working. I was afraid it wasn't going to. So we'll get our smoke leaf joints, our ambrosia, um, psychite tea, penicillin. So penicillin's every six days. Psychite tea can be taken every two days. Ambrosia can be done every two days. Smoke leaf joint every three, and beer every three days. Awesome. Excellent. That's what I was hoping for. Also, let me know uh, what you think about the prices. I did a lot of adjusting on them. We did uh, several streams of testing, so hopefully the prices look uh, decent. All right, so we are hauling these finally. This is going to be our makeshift, uh, our makeshift mess haul. Man, they weren't kidding when they said uh, disease happens quite often here, huh? Because uh, we are, I believe we are in the rainforest. Yeah, we're in a tropical rainforest. Alright. So let's start laying out some, uh, some plans here. And, you know, they seem to be reasonable overall. Have the series, yeah, and we can change them as as the series goes too. So nothing is quite set in stone. Um, we will be we'll be altering quite a bit here. Let's make this a little more square up here, uh, and we can start mining this out here.
Carl, why are you upset? Uh, if you do exclamation point about, it will, uh, purchase list should also work, but uh, right there that link will let you uh, see the price list, the purchase list. All right, so we got this going on. We've got some more wood down here. So let's start laying some things out. So we are going to need... We'll have an entrance here. And then we want hallways kind of like that. All right, and then we can... Uh, Hmm. I'm debating on where we want, where we actually want to live at. Because I feel like we could take this over down here. Carl, what are you doing? Well, it's pretty far, man. All right, and this is already full, so we got to figure something out here. Let's do um, production. We'll get a simple research bench in here that's going to take up the entire area. Did not think this through very well. And then we just want a table here. All right, and you can exchange channel points for um, Twitch Toolkit points. Uh, I think I have it set at 5,000. We tried it at 1,000. Um, if you want to send a message, uh, or if you want to know your balance, just whisper Trustobot with underscores in between the O's. And it would look something like this. There you go. Just whisper Trusto bot exclamation point bow for balance. There we go. Alright, Snowflake. Come on in here and deconstruct some stuff. Yeah, and on that purchase list, I have everything listed as far as uh, what is considered good, bad, ugly, and different. And again, if you uh, if you want to have one of the pawns, just go ahead and let me know, and I can get that. Hey, Snowflake made the table, ate the table. <laughs> A marine named Snowflake. Um, so I'm gonna do some some plugging here. We're gonna raffle the pawns. Quirzilla, would you like one? You know you've done something impressive during that one. That's actually homage to one of our old series. We had a uh, a series with um, a wolfhound named Snowflake that was uh, sort of being punished for being evil. Not necessarily punished, but uh, if you do something like a toxic fallout, you be purple? Absolutely, we'll get you as purple. Uh, Twitch toolkit names. Purple. Got you a sign there. Let me uh, switch names around here. You know what? Actually, if you would like your name uh, something else, let me know. No, I'm sorry. There we go. I'm not going to do a toxic fallout as 12,000 points. <laughs> but thanks for the suggestion. I know from other series I've seen that there will be people that will lurk in here. <laughs> it's the color of destiny. Um, from other people and watching other series, there will be people that will lurk in here that will do nothing but wait to get a toxic fallout. It is the way. All right. 
<laughs> Thermonuclear bombardment. It's awesome, but you can't afford it. Well, exactly. Just, just let me build up and then boom. You guys can hammer me. Take that as you will. Hey, Velocity. And it will be Randy to you exactly. Hey, Velocity, thanks for the bits, man. Welcome, welcome. Uh, I've seen it happen. I've seen it happen, and it's uh, it's terrifying. And I, I hope that I will be able to withstand the bombardment that I know you guys will eventually bring upon me. All right, gonna have them mine that out. Um, what are you guys' thoughts as far as base location? We could utilize this area up here and uh, mine this all out, block it off up here. Man, someone's already having battles. Uh, we could utilize this area for the base and um, it's got a decent choke point down here. What, uh, what event did you try to buy that's saying it's not possible? I apologize for the questions. I'm, I'm, I want to know what I can do to make it better. Oh, or yeah, it's got to be nighttime. Oh, <laughs> Barb. Yeah. <laughs> exactly, calm. Hey, Raiders. Wow. What's up? Look at that. Two months in a row. Thanks, Rod. Hey, everybody. Let's go ahead and uh, run things on slow mode here. It's your <laughs> nighttime. Hey. Hey, thanks for, for the bits. Thanks for the resub, man, and the raid. Hey, and welcome, everybody. Uh, this is, this is, <laughs> it's a Rod raid. <laughs> There's your new emote idea, man. <laughs> uh, cheers, everybody. Cheers. Welcome, welcome. We just landed. Um, let me go over some things real quick for you guys as you're just joining in here. So this is uh, RimWorld Troopers. It is a series based off of Starship Troopers. Uh, it is a Twitch Toolkit series, so you guys are in charge. We are doing Randy Random. Uh, if it seems to be a little easy... We'll switch to Emperor's Evil. Evil. <laughs> yes, it is. It is 100% a fresh start. Yes, we just started. Uh, this is the first episode of the series. Uh, and we just landed. We moved everything up here. Uh, we have Carl, who is um, our officer. So he is going to be the person that uh, we have to protect. Let me go ahead and show you the splash. So you guys know the, the goals of the series here. So our goals are to protect the mission officer, which in this case is Carl. Uh, destroy as many hives as possible. Eliminate hostile human, humanoid threats to the Federation. And we, if given the opportunity, we are going to uh, study the bugs. No, I'm hoping Randy is not easy. But uh, we do have an option for other... Uh, we do have an option for other storytellers if he doesn't play along uh, according to the story that we're trying to play out here. And let me give you an overview of the world. As you can see, it's it's a little different. Um, it's a it's a bug planet. It's an ugly planet. Uh, we have a lot of hives <laughs> hunting. Yes, <laughs> we have a lot of hives uh, that we are going to have to hopefully take out before they take us out. The Federation has sent in multiple um, units down here. Uh, we are a few, but uh, hopefully we are a strong bunch of units here. Uh, there are some other enemy factions on here. Hey, Kriv, thanks for the follow. I do appreciate that. Thank you. Uh, there are some other humanoid factions on here, so that way if you guys do purchase raids, raids can happen. Uh, there are pirates. There are uh, there are no tribal factions, so I did not allow any tribal factions for this. Uh, but it should be hopefully a uh, a decent fun playthrough. Orton, I appreciate that follow. Thank you. Thank you very much. And if you guys would like to participate, 
in the toolkit. Exclamation point about. That will bring up the um, Marauder. Thank you for the follow. Appreciate that, sir. Or ma'am. Or person. Uh, but that... Uh, I don't have a mods uh, list yet. I apologize. I will get that worked up. Quirazilla with those five gifted thubs, subs. Thank you. Thank you very much. So let's see what we got going on. Uh, purple no longer has creepy breathing. That has been removed from Quirazilla. If you guys would like in on having a pawn named after you, um, we can go ahead and do that. Rodamont, if you are here and you're going to, um, if you'd like, you can have Ronin since you have designed that pawn. Um, but it's up to you. Uh, otherwise, what I would like to do is in, um, let's see, where is this? I'd like to do a giveaway where we can give the pawns away. So I will allow for 10 minutes and um, just do exclamation point join. And uh, we have one, two, three pawns to give away. Rodamont, let me go ahead and highlight you and I'll get you set up over there. I'm going to pause the game because as you can see, I don't have a lot going on for these guys. So they are uh, getting bored. Ronin. There we go. And then let me go ahead and change this back to Ronin. There we go. And let's get some digging going on. So we were um, in a situation here where this looked like a perfect settlement opportunity. We landed. We said, uh, this is the playthrough. Yes, sir, Tangier. Uh, so we landed. We thought this was going to be an excellent spot. We laid down a barracks, a mess hall, some storage, some pseudo storage area here. And uh, come to find out, this area cannot hold heavy buildings. So I'm not entirely sure we want to use this as our, um, as our area here. We could relocate to another mountain spot. But I feel like if we dig this out enough, hopefully it will have uh, some ground that could hold us. So let's go ahead and start digging. Let's go south and get closer to that area with the, uh, with the vents. Yeah. We could always relocate. We could always relocate. <laughs> Makes a fine yayo farm, though. You're not wrong. Skill increase. Oh, nice. Breakthrough. Excellent. Thank you, thank you. Alright, so let's go ahead and start mining some of this stuff out. Um, and we will throw down some stone cutter, or a stone cutter table here. So we can get that going. And let's start cutting some more trees. <laughs> Drugs to space, as always. And it looks like purple uh, is now a jogger. That is a fantastic trait for purple. Thank you, Quirozilla. Right. So we've got some... Some of this stuff going on, we will need to start making a kitchen area. So let me go ahead and we'll make a small kitchen area up here. And that's going to be for our, our vents. So even if we do relocate, we can still use this area for now. Um, I do like the idea of being closer to the steam geyser.
Uh, so, uh, ooh. Whoa, alright. Well. We wanted a mountain base. There are, yes, there are uh, a couple steam geysers. There are three steam geysers in this area. We wanted a mountain base. I guess we got one. Uh, and it looks like we've got some bugs as well. <laughs> right? I think we're going to stay in the spot we're at. Um, let's see. So we've got some mega spiders here. Let's rest up. Let's... Um, Let's build a steel door, a couple steel doors here, and uh, let's cancel these commands. It's faith. <laughs> Suggesting don't die. Uh, no promises, but I'll do what I can with what I got. Right. So we got some bugs in here. Uh, let's see. All right, looking at the place, got some compacted steel up here, two hives, two mega spiders, it looks like, a couple centipedes, mega scarabs, some penicillin, baby, yeah. I know Carl just downed it. <laughs> it's, it's one way to do things, Carl. It's one way to do things. Let's cancel this since this is now, and we've found some compact steel in here as well. Chad, thank you very much for the penicillin. Carl appreciates it. He uh, he does have gut worms. Uh, let's see, care package. Ooh, psychic sooth pulser. Nice. Let's um. So this is our temp storage, but we're already out of space for a lot of things. And so you guys were asking about the black chocobos, uh, the night ave. So I wanted this to be truly be a bug planet, a planet I didn't really know. So I'm using alpha animals. I've used it maybe uh, a few times. Um, <laughs> one time I played Tropics, half my colony got laid up sleeping sickness for about half a year. Yeah. Our first event that that Randy threw in our face was, uh, hey, I heard you like the tropics. Have some gut worms. So our Carl got gut worms and so did Snowflake. Those were the, uh, the two peeps that got gut worms. I want to build this door here and hopefully uh, take out some people. Carl, let's get you researching. Let's uh, let's get you researching immediately on smithing, and then after that, we're gonna go straight for gun turrets. Uh, and the reason we're doing that is because the insects that have been added to this um, this playthrough are pretty insane. So there's uh, they they add uh, it's the vanilla expanded. Um, Insectoid mod. So there are a lot of different insects that have been added. And I, I apologize again for not having that uh, um, that mods list set up. As soon as I get, uh, as soon as we end tonight, I'll be working on them. Go words need 310 to cure, but penicillin does nothing after you've been affected. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know why the aurora, aurora uh, isn't possible right now. Snowflake, be careful, man. Let's set up a storage area down here. We'll mine this out. And this will be just for uh, chunks here. We'll get these hauled. It was nighttime. I Yeah, I don't know why that's not working. I'll, I'll look into that. Uh, no, it should be, you should be able to, uh, do events at any time. Nine beer. <laughs> Thank you, Quirazilla. Good thing I set up those, uh, those priorities already. 
All right, so let's go ahead and start making some steel here, or um, some steel walls here. It's a possibility, but I th I thought I it was set up. I didn't set it up, but I thought it was set up that uh, any time um, events could be triggered. But if it's not working, I, I can uh, definitely look into it and see if maybe I can figure out why it's not working. What was my plan here? I had a plan, I swear. Let's see, production. I wanted to do a stone cutters bench down here. Yeah, the five days. It's a possibility. I'm uh, I'm still learning with this one. Uh, temperature. We got to do something about those bugs in there. And then let's do structures, some steel. So we have a steel wall here. All right, so let's go ahead and raffle off. Uh, we got Carl, Snowflake, and Rusty. Let's go ahead and do that now. And Kriv. Go ahead and say something, and I will give you guys. I'll give you Carl. Carl is yours. Congratulations, man. Name Q. Carl. Oops, it's actually making me add. Kriv. <laughs> and for Snowflake, we have... Is that Cryo? Hey, yo, got you there. And then finally, we have Rusty. Rusty, we have Tangier. Cheers. All right. And let's go ahead and complete that. Thank you guys very much. So let me go ahead and rename them back to um, their official names, because people put a lot of work into these. Um, and we can rename them later on down the road if we need to. Carl. Cryah. And Rusty. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.